Hello, and welcome to Movie Community College. I'm Tish, the Warrior Queen. We get so many messages. Aren't you going to say your name? Um, my name is uh, Prime Minister Modi. Congratulations, <sighs> India, for 8.2 GDP. You're okay. welcome. Your name is Jeremy, the professor. I am for all of our new friends who don't of, know. Uh, the BJP. He's my husband. Um, I think this is from Payush. From Indoor. What's up, Payush? Hi, Payush. This is Surgical Strike. Now, I get a lot of requests about Surgical Strike. Yes. And uh, it's always banned in America. Yes. Always. Except for today. I don't know. We'll see if this reaction goes happened. up. I don't know what And when I put the reactions yes. up, sometimes they're blocked. Yes. So I don't know. Let's yes. take a look. We'll We're going to try. So let's see what happens with this video. Four militants uh, snuck up to the army base. Even loss of life of one soldier is extremely painful. And we had lost so many that day. We cannot let the sacrifice of our brave soldiers go in vain. It would require a substantial amount of damage to the enemy for the kind of a damage that they had done on us. For decades, India has been the target of terrorist attacks from across the western border. The Uri attack is traced back to the Jaish e Mohammed, a terrorist organization based in Pakistan. They are one of many terror networks that operate out of Pakistan occupied Kashmir, or POK. The Pakistan military actively supports them. From terrorist training camps, armed militants are brought to launch pads. From these outposts, Fidayeen squads are launched into India. These launch pads are close to the line of control, or LOC. Under protection and cover fire from the Pakistan army, these terrorists infiltrate to carry out attacks on Indian soil. It was very clear that some kind of a very demonstrative retribution will have to take place. The Uri attack could not go unanswered. The Indian government decides to take military action to destroy terror launch pads across the line of control. This was a counter-terrorist operation. This was undertaken to neutralize the terrorists. I believe that uh, you can't eat at the army and then go and uh, hide the, across uh, the line of control. The message launcher. had to go to Pakistan that if you are going to come and hit us on our side, we can also come across and hit you on your side. Now that works. The decision is made. India would put boots on the ground across the line of control. Two of the Indian Army's elite paratrooper special forces units operating out of Jammu and Kashmir are given the job. They know the enemy better than anyone else. This is the true story of India's surgical strikes. Multiple targets would be hit across the line of control in POK. These targets are on enemy territory with varying terrain. Strike teams one and two are assigned two targets in North Kashmir. Both recon teams have eyes on their targets. Every detail is critical to a foolproof plan. Each and every component of the target, the exact number of strengths which were there, and one of the places we also knew the name of the terrorist commander who was there. It was time to plan the assault. I think this kind of action and the paratroopers is like a made for each other.
Strike Team 1 is dropped off in an unmarked landing zone. We'd gone from an area where nobody could see us, not even our own parties. The surprise had to be maintained. Major Z's team crosses the line of control. Strike teams one and two take assault positions. Both teams would attack at first light. It's a waiting game. <laughs> Man, I wanted to see some boom. Okay, but that looks phenomenal, doesn't it? It does. We have to figure out how to watch wow. it. Wow. Thank you, Payush. Payush, thank you, sir.